How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I want to talk about talent. And the thing that kind of frustrates me about talent is that people kind of play it off. So for example, sometimes, and I'm pretty sure some of you have experienced this before, people tell you that, oh, you're so talented. Um, and they kind of mean it in a positive way. There's no bad intention behind it. It's just to kind of show their their appreciation and, and stuff like that. But if I go back and I look at the first pieces that I've drawn, they really suck. And I still have some of them. And I, I can actually show them to you and, and you will see for yourself that they weren't really good and there was no talent evident in those pieces. So they, they literally suck. They were crap, they were shit. And it just proves that when I started out, I didn't have any talent at all. So my mom can't draw. Um, she knows how to paint a little, but more kind of in the abstract sense. And my dad knew how to draw a little bit, but also not on a professional level. So it's not like it's in the family. And I wasn't born with a natural talent so I, I didn't just wake up and knew how to draw. And this is kind of the misconception. People always talk about talent as if it's something you're naturally born with. You're just gifted at, at drawing or playing tennis or something and you don't have to work for it. And to be honest, at one point I didn't even believe in talent at all. And now I'm at a point where I say maybe there are a few people who are naturally gifted in doing something but it doesn't mean that they can rely on their talent all their lives. So what I mean with that is, let's say you're talented in drawing. So for example, if you're really talented, you're just a natural artist, a natural born artist. It still doesn't mean that you never have to do something. You never have to put in that work to become a professional artist. You will still have to work your ass off literally to, to be able to compete. Because talent only takes you so far. So even if you're the most talented person, you still will have to sit down and study and, and put in a lot of work and time in order to, to be a professional later on in your life. So I wouldn't focus too much on talent. So let's say you look at your own art right now and there's no talent seen in there, then don't stress out. It doesn't mean that you're not able to to become a professional artist because believe it or not like most professional artists they were probably not born with talent they just put in a lot of time into their craft and this goes for almost any profession it doesn't matter if you're a basketball player if you're an actor if you're a cook um, if you're an engineer it doesn't matter you may have talent but you still need to put in that work that study time and Never forget that because it's easy to kind of rely on talent because so many people will will tell you, oh, you're so talented and it's easy to get kind of lost in that. And I know that it kind of gives you that confidence like, oh, yeah, I'm talented. I was born with this. I'm the best. I had that feeling before and in the end, it hurt me more than it helped me because what I did is I kind of relied on talent. I thought I could just sit back and relax and I wouldn't have to do anything because I'm so talented compared to all of these other kids and that it just comes to me naturally. So don't kind of get lost in that misconception. It's going to hurt you in the long run. You never want to stop studying or stop wanting to improve. You always want to be working on your craft. What you want to do is you want to have a critical eye. So whenever you look at your work, it, it's okay to be proud of it from time to time, but don't kind of get stuck on that or get hung up on that, on that good feeling for too long. If you truly think that your art isn't up to the industry standard, then guess what? You just have to put in more time. You have to keep studying. And even if you're a professional, even if you're at the top, you want to stay at the top, obviously. And the only way to stay at the top is to keep working on your craft because if you don't do so there's going to be another person who's going to work on their own craft and sooner or later they're going to catch up and so naturally the more you study the more you do something the more time you put into something the better you will become but if you just suddenly stop studying because you think you've made it because you think you're at the top of the world that's when things aren't progressing anymore that's when things start to slow down 
you're suddenly not the best anymore you, you become the second best you become the third best and sooner or later you'll be forgotten and there's going to be a whole new generation of better artists than you just because you stopped studying it's not their fault that they're at the top and that you're not at the top anymore it's your own fault because you decided not to study anymore you decided to rely on talent and that's the biggest downfall so don't make the mistake of, of relying on talent or on your current skill level it may be enough for today but who knows what happens tomorrow who knows what the industry is asking for in five years from now you may be at the top on today's standards but things change a lot and in five years from now companies could be asking for something totally else and if you haven't stepped up your game you're literally out of the game so be thankful for your current skill level and your current success but don't relax on it don't don't focus on it for too long like you always want to keep progressing you always want to keep moving forward and the only way to do that is to be honest with yourself. You have to be harsh with yourself and just tell yourself that, hey, I've made it this far. That's pretty awesome. But I need to make it further in order to, to stay at the top. And I'm not saying that I'm at the top. I'm, I'm far away from the top. But I've reached many things that I wouldn't have ever expected. But as I grew to the point where I am now, I also lifted my standards. And so there's always another level that I want to reach. So if you ask me when I started out, um, if I ever want to become the artist that I am today, I probably would have freaked out and, and would have been like, yes. But now that I'm at this point, I'm not too happy with my skill level. I, I know what I can do. I'm, I'm pretty confident of my skills, but I'm, I'm so far away from, from the goals that I have now. And I'm pretty sure that once I've reached my goals that I'm having now, I will have a whole nother level of goals like on a whole new standard and it's going to be so much tougher to reach them but that's the only way you're able to compete you always have to lift your your standards your, your own expectations have to be higher and higher so each time you reach your goals you want to have a new set of goals that are even higher and, and more difficult to reach the the thing that I like to do the most is just being honest with myself and when I'm when I'm doing something that's really bad I, I just tell myself this sucked I need to change something I can't go on like this and if there's something you can change to the better then always try to improve if there's a chance for you to get better at something then take that chance even if it means you have to put aside a little bit of your ego or if that means you have to put in more work than you're used to then please do so because once you're at the level you actually want it to be at, you're going to be so happy that you've put in the time at work. And I said this in another video, you want to try to reach your full potential and be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. Like don't focus on other people too much. I really don't care what somebody else is doing. And I'm much happier than when I was like focusing on other people. And this kind of wraps it up for this video and basically all I wanted to say is that it's not all about talent. Um, even if you're not talented, it doesn't mean you can't become a professional artist. All you need to do is put in that extra time and work that'll get you to that level of skill that you need. Always try to focus on yourself and keep working, keep, keep pushing yourself and I can almost guarantee you that sooner or later you'll make it. So don't get caught up in that talent lie. It's, it's a thing that, that people like to use to, to describe somebody who's very skilled, who's very experienced in something. So if you're starting out and you feel like you have no talent at all, that's totally fine. Because if you look at my older work, I didn't have talent either. I, I pretty much sucked. And if your art isn't as bad as mine was, then guess what? You're going to make it sooner or later, as long as you keep practicing and working on your mistakes. So anyways guys, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you ain't subscribed to my channel, then hit that subscribe button. And as always guys, I hope to see you in my next video, and I love you with all my fart and soul. Peace.